Tiani Fias was passionate about dance and golf. Someone her family says lit up a room when she walked in, and unfortunately, someone who may have trusted too easily. I'm quite sure whoever did this to her um, took that for granted. Probably someone she knew that was close to her. Tiani, just 16 years old, was found dead on the side of the 110 freeway. Investigators say she was shot in the neck and her body was dumped on the West Manchester Avenue on-ramp near South Figueroa Street. This is one thing that I would never put on the worst, the worst of the worst of the enemies. Her life did matter. Her family and the community are here still fighting and demanding justice a year later. The teen's life took a turn in 2019 when her mother was severely injured in a hit and run crash that left her in a rehab facility. It's something that um, she couldn't really cope with, and she just went, led it into uh, another direction. But still in all, she was a young lady. She was a bright student and loved school. South L.A. leads the city in cold case murders with nearly half of homicides going unsolved. Now leaders in this historically underserved, marginalized community are calling for more state and federal funding to increase the use of DNA technology and techniques to create leads on cold cases like Tiani's. And I'm going to say to our federal officials and state officials, now's the time to begin to think through how we direct more resources to investigate these cold cases. If we have to ask for the governor to direct the highway patrol to get LAPD involved in this investigation because they have the resources to do so. If they're watching, if they could just turn themselves in or if someone knows something, a family member, if they know something, just turn yourself in because what if it was your family member? You know, this is someone's child. The family is hopeful that someone who may be able to help with the investigation will come forward. There is still a $115,000 reward for any information leading to the arrest and conviction of Tiani's killer. Reporting from the Florence neighborhood of South L.A., I'm Mario Ramirez, Fox 11 News.